Welcome to Smart Up Travel. I am Ifeani, and today I'll be speaking on the different visas available for people wanting to visit Tanzania. To all my viewers, I want you to do one thing right now. I want you to have a look at the beautiful images you are seeing on the screen. These are some of the beautiful places that awaits you on your arrival to Tanzania. Now today we'll be focusing on the visa and also the pros and cons of doing business uh, in Tanzania. I'll just be giving a brief summary of that. Now in terms of the visa application, you can do it online and you can also do it upon arrival. Now people who are holders of British, American and Canadian passports, you need a visa to enter Tanzania. Therefore, you can do the process online and you can also do it on arrival when you come to Tanzania. From experience, I think it's best to do it before you arrive to Tanzania. In the event you may be jet lagged, you may be tired and waiting in line can be a bit frustrating sometimes. So it's best to just have it done so when you go there, your exit of the airport will be quite smooth and you won't have to wait for a, a long period of time. And they are really trying to improve the waiting time in terms of doing the visas on arrival. So thumbs up to Tanzania for that. They're they actually improving on the service and actually processing the, the application for the visas on arrival more quickly. Now, also people who are holders of many different uh, Caribbean pa passports. So for example, Jamaica, Grenada, for example, you all do not need a visa to enter uh, Tanzania, which is quite good. So you are allowed to, to be there for up to 90 days, uh, visa-free, before you will need to extend your time there. Okay, so we're dealing with a single entry visa. A single entry visa is uh, valid for up to three months, so you'll get three months. You will have to fill out a, a visa application form. A declaration form and also they'll, they'll you'll need to obviously pay the visa fee now the visa free for a single entry visa is 50 US dollars so that again that's 50 US dollars and you'll also need two passport sides photograph to be attached to your application form so it's good to have two passport size photographs with you so that's quite a straightforward process and I will give you up to three months in Tanzania to en enjoy the beautiful scenery, enjoy the beautiful sights, get to meet a whole wide range of interesting people from a diverse cultural background and also network. It may be your first time going there. You will be, get the opportunity to network with people, get to feel out the place, see if it's right for you, if it's a place you feel that you can eventually settle in future or if it's a place you can see yourself doing business there. So that's a single entry visa. Now we mo move on to a multiple entry visa. A multiple entry visa. Now a multiple entry visa are for those traveling to Tanzania who may want to stay there for a longer period of time. And they may also want to visit various countries within Africa and it will most likely be around countries in the East, uh, East Africa. So for example, you may want to go to Kenya, you may want to go to Rwanda, you may want to go to Uganda, you may want to visit Malawi, you may want to visit Zambia. So this allows you to actually leave Tanzania and come back into Tanzania without having to apply for a visa again. That's a multiple entry visa. Okay. From experience, this is how it is done. So you have your multiple entry visa. You know it's valid for one year. And you need to leave the country at three months intervals. So you can go to a border town, let's say in Kenya, for example. You can spend a few hours or you might spend a night or you can stay longer. It depends on how you feel to handle the situation. And then you return back to Tanzania. They would not ask you to produce a visa again because they can see on your passport you have your multiple entry visa so you can go and come back as you please within that one year period without having to be asked to pay for another visa again you don't have to pay for another visa again 
Now the cost for a multiple entry visa is 100 US dollars. And I'll be leaving uh, an official government website which will provide all the information on the visa, uh, multiple entry visa, and also the documents you will need in order to apply for one. And that'll be an official government website, and I'll leave that in the, the, in the link below. So make sure you check below and you'll see the link to the website. Another visa is possibly a student visa, and there are different types of a student visa, but just to cut, up, cut the story short, is different prices in terms of one could be 50 US dollars, 250 US dollars, but it depends on how long you will be studying for. So for example, some people go there and they study, study Kiswahili for, with an institution in Tanzania. And once they have the confirmation from the institution and everything like that, they can apply for the student visa and that will allow them to stay in Tanzania for an extended period of time. To all my viewers, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification symbol so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Someone was asking me the other day in regards to doing volunteering in Tanzania. And in regards to volunteering, that's slightly different. You required a residence permit. So you get a residence permit and it's a class C residence permit. And it costs between 200 US dollars to 250 US dollars. And you'll have to apply for that at the immigration bureau in Dar es Salaam or in Arusha. It all depends on also how long you'll be staying there as well, but that'll be depending on who you're volunteering for, and they will help you out with the process in regards to that. So that's it today. Next time I'll be talking about the pros and cons for doing business in Tanzania. So make sure you stay tuned to the show, and thank you for watching Smart Up Travel. Peace.